Hi, welcome to the third of tutorial series ArcVis Training by Evermotion. Today we will talk about exterior HDRI lighting in V-Ray. This scene that you see in this tutorial can be, as usual, downloaded for free, the link is in the description. We will modify the scene from the previous tutorial about exterior lighting. So if you follow along with this tutorial, you can download the scene files from there. You will find the previous tutorial on ArcVis Training playlist and in the link in the description. Our first goal is to create sunset scene. Open Environment and Effects tab and Material Editor. Drag and drop HDRI map to Material Editor. Replace Reflection Refraction Environment in Render Setup. Now you can change HDRI bitmap. We will choose the 8K version of the Sun is on Fire map from HDRI Haven. Set horizontal rotation to 0 and render multiplier to 1. Delete a very sun. Now we will merge interior lights with the scene. Add a very sun without very sky. We don't need sky because we use HDRI map. Change a viewport background to the environment map. The bitmap is overexposed in the preview, so we need to reduce render multiplier. Let's set it to 0.1. Set the position of the sun according to the environment map. We want our shadows to be consistent. And restore the previous settings. Link a very sun to a very sun target. Now we will link our sun target with HDRI map. Select a very sun target and open parameter wire dialog. Select the rotation of very sun target and horizontal rotation of the environment bitmap. Change expression of horizontal rotation to negative Z rotation. Choose one way collection, left to right. This method of connection will allow us to control HDRI rotation with the very sun target. The position of the very sun will match position of the HDRI bitmap. We will turn on IPR rendering in very frame buffer. The next thing is to change a shutter speed of very camera and we will turn off all post production layers. As you can see, changing rotation of the very sun target also changes horizontal rotation of HDRI bitmap and position of the very sun.
the Virae Sun needs some adjustments. We will tweak its size, position and visibility. Now it's time to make some adjustments. Match render multiplier of the HDRI bitmap. Now we'll adjust color correction settings. We will make small correction of white balance. And we can adjust very aerial perspective. Now we will play with very light mix. It allows us to tweak lights even after rendering is finished. Each interior has a separate set of instance lights. We choose the disk type of very light similar to spotlights. Press F10 and in render elements add very light mix. In very light mix parameters section, there is a parameter called group by, set it to instant lights. As you can see, we are able to change intensity and color of all our lights in the scene during the render and even after it ends. Feel free to experiment with your own settings. At the end of the render, we can transfer the light mix setup to our lights in the scene. As you can see, our light mix setup was transferred. It's time to finish our render using post production in Vue Frame Buffer. Don't be afraid to experiment, this is a lot of fun. This time we will set up an overcast scene. We can continue our work on the file from the sunset scene. Clear environment map slot and reflection refraction environment slot. Delete the very sun. Add the very dumb. Create a new very bitmap node and select a HDRI map.
change mapping type to spherical. This time we will use Tucker Rack, also downloaded from HDR Heaven. Link Viri bitmap with Viri DOM. Choose horizontal rotation according to your preferences. Duplicate the bitmap. Increase render multiplayer of duplicated the bitmap. Link duplicated very bitmap to a reflection refraction environment slot. As you can see, there is no difference. We need to untick affect reflections in very dome light. There is no information in the very atmosphere element. We need to add very sun without very sky and then turn it off. The presence of very sun will add an information for very atmosphere element. Like in the sunset scene, we will add a very light mix and set up the lights. As always, feel free with playing with your own post-production settings. For adding glare effects for spotlights, we need to make very lights visible, so we untick Invisible option. The last lighting scenario will be a night scene. We can continue our work starting from the file with the overcast scene. Merge the file with the street lamp lights. Set a new HDRI map as the very bitmap.
In the render setup dialog, clear reflection refraction environment slot. We use 8K version of Dick Hololo Night HDRI map. Now it's time to make the necessary adjustments. We'll change the multiplier of Viridome. Now let's adjust the settings of the camera. You can choose horizontal rotation according to your preferences. Adjust the multiplayer and color of street lamps. Select all street lamps. These are all instances of cylindrical shapes. Create and set up very light material. Copy color of the very light and paste it to very light material. Assign the very light material. The last step is post-production. As always, feel free with tweaking with the settings. Balancing the colors, curves, saturation will give your render the final shape.